What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, and uh, how did we actually get here? I kind of had this question asked on Twitch the other day, a lot of people asking in Discord. I mean, we've been on a long journey so far. It's been about a year and a half since we started up YouTube, since we had our very first video, starting with our, our scary army and our Garuda, and I thought to myself, what would be a really awesome thing to do, especially for the newer players? Why, I mean, because uh, let's be honest, we have so many videos I highly doubt any new members have actually gone back and looked at some of the old stuff. So I wanted to show you kind of like a retrospect and kind of show how crazy it is and how fast and easy it is to build heroes nowadays compared to how it was before. Because let's be honest, in the old days, I spent a lot more money on this game than I do now. And the progress just didn't really come as fast. So let's jump right into it. I got a bunch of screenshots of what our account looked like at many different stages. And let's get going. All right, so starting off way back in October of what was it, 2019 at this point? Is that correct? Good lord, October 2019. This is what our account looked like. We had done anniversary, so we had the Amon Ra. We just built a Garuda. We were working on a second Garuda even because we loved how good the force carries worked with her. We had a Kathuga. I don't know. He got us to death one, which was the one thing we couldn't do with our scaries and our Garudas. But Kathuga, he was the god of seal, or not sealing. He was the god of Aspen Dungeon and got us all the way to death one, which is pretty cool. This was the old days of the scary army. You'll see as time goes on, we finally finished up that second Garuda. And then Christmas 2019 came. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I choose to build three Taras. Instead of waiting for Chinese New Year, could you imagine what this account would have been like? The Light Army would have not existed if it wasn't for Christmas 2019 and going through for three Taras. I figured, hey, you know, Tara sounds like a strong hero. And at the time, this triple Tara team was extremely strong in the PvP meta. He was really, really, really good, especially when you had three of them together just sealing off a ton of Garudas because you guys got to remember, Garuda was the PvP hero at the time. The only hero that came out between Garuda and Tara was Unimax, and nobody got Unimax because he wasn't any like god tier hero, and we knew Chinese New Year and Christmas were coming up. <sighs> could have been a dark meme team here, guys. <laughs> we could have had three carries, but instead we went for the Taras because then, yeah, this one right here is about February. This is after Carrie came out. We decided we, we have a couple carry copies, but we decided we were not going to build carry on this account because I don't know. I hated her because she was so strong. She made Mataras completely useless in the PvP meta. Granted, Taras did a ton of damage to carries, but it just did not hold up at all. So we decided what we're going to do is we're going to build a Mim Cheese team for Interdimensional Arena because if you guys remember, IDA came out at the end of 2019. This was kind of a fun thing. I went with the double mims. I thought it would be really cool to have, you know, like three lineups. I think I had like a, one of my lineups was like double Garuda, quadruple scary. I had some sort of mim cheese with these uh, Michelle's down here. And then I just had some weird Amon Ra Terra combination of heroes with Cruz for the stun. It was really weird transition, but I mean, it is what it is. We eventually got their skins. Um, we did build actually is that bell rain yeah the bell rain's new there we had an e2 bell rain finally finished the bell rain back when she was really really good in the pvp meta and of course right before anniversary we decided to go all in and get sherlock uh, yeah you'll see my face over there too you'll see the difference in camera quality huh <laughs> so dark so grainy and everything uh but yeah we decided to go for sherlock i thought it was a, i mean at the time we thought he was really good didn't know how good he was gonna be because uh kind of didn't have him after Russell came out but that was pretty good because at anniversary we built double Russell and we took one of our mims and converted it over to a Drake copy kind of wish I would have still had the mims but Drake at the time was very strong Russell's were extremely strong both Drake and Russell when they came out they were underpowered the week after the event was done they actually buffed both the heroes kind of what they thought we would they would do with Tusi Lago again, but they did not. But at the time, Double Russell was a powerhouse. We still had our scary armies chilling, sitting around. 
They weren't really doing much anymore because by this time, Ithqua and Delacium were out. Scary armies were obsolete because Ithqua and Delacium did it more efficiently and with more useful heroes. So, yeah, the, we kind of came to this transition point where we're like, hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going all in on light heroes. We're going to build an Ada. We're going to get an Asmodel because at the time, this Asmodel did surprisingly well on our team against Sherlock's. It made it so Sherlock's lost all their cards from all the marks that they put out. It was actually really good. And of course, we built our E5 Ormus, one of my favorite heroes at the time. I think, uh, oh, I forgot we had an Olivia as well. I think the team we were running, honestly, I think what we were running was Bellrain, Ormus, Olivia, Amon Ra, and Double Russell. And it was actually doing pretty good. We then transitioned, I think, to Double Russell, Ada. Actually, we're doing like a full light team plus Ormus. We had Double Russell, Ada, Bellrain, Asmodel, and then finally uh, Ormus. On that team, he was amazing with rescue marks. A lot of people gave me a lot of flack, but he actually won me a ton of games and had even more healing than Bellrain in a lot of the fights. Now, here's the one transition you see. Eventually, Rogan came out. We swapped out that Olivia because the Olivia just wasn't doing anything for us. And then came the age of Rogans. And yes, you'll see immediately we kind of transitioned here. There's a little bit of interesting team. Uh, you'll see there's only two Russells here. We immediately go to four Russells. And this is where our absolute destruction video, I think it's our highest viewed video on the channel. The quadruple Russell, Rogan, and Belrain PvP team just uh, destroying enemies. Like absolutely destroying. We did build. Oh no, we didn't build. We swapped our scaries out for it ignis anakia and two kathugas i don't know why don't ask me why but we did do that eventually sword flash came out we built her we built another rogan copy here and then we were all in on that like light army type thing so we built michelle another ada this is where the, the a faith blade this is where our, our account started going really down i mean we were already in a bad spot being a scary army but this is where it kind of went a little sideways here. We built another Ada. We have more Rogans on our team. We had an Ignis, Amon Ra still. All the same usual heroes. Oh, you'll, you'll notice all the food Garudas we had because when we regressed both of our Garudas, we had so many Garuda copies to keep building more Garudas and the army just kept growing. We built a second Ignis up. We had our queen and you know what that queen was ready for. Plus we had four Rogans scarlet queen so scarlet queen came out we built her we had our four rogans we had our double ignis we just had a really really weird account at this point we still had the face blade double adas and then we started really kind of going all in on the light army we built two more russells if you notice here and we built two more rogans basically do, do we have the ignis yeah we still have the ignis we had the Amon Ra. Good Lord, what were we doing? What were we doing? What are we doing? Because then we have this year coming up after that. <sighs> yes, everybody say hi to June. We had three 2C Lago. Once again, we picked the worst out of the two when it comes between Christmas and Chinese New Year. Hopefully they do something for her towards anniversary. Yeah, you can only hope. You can only hope. We then transition over to this right here. This is our uh, pretty close to current lineup. Actually, no, it is. We have a Transcendence Asmodel. We have our Fionas. We still have some Rogans. We got rid of one Rogan. We're probably going to get rid of this Rogan again. But we have a Gherkinator now. <laughs> and we have another Ada. So I don't even know where we're going to go with our account from this point on, guys. Like, oh my god. I just... I don't know where we're going. You guys let me know. Where should we bring this? Should we, should we go to a holy army and include forest and fortress heroes? And if that's the case, do we build a Sherlock? Maybe. We could regress this Rogan here and build at least one Sherlock. Maybe two. Do we go for the holy army instead of the lights army? We still got lights champion when it comes to the, uh, the hall of fame in the void now. But uh, yeah. I don't know where we should go, but I think it's very, very interesting when you compare this right here. Let's just see. So this is one and a half years of progress from this right here to this right here. One and a half years. And this was pretty much, this right here was one and a half years of progress, essentially, from starting the game. And then from there, one and a half years 
we're all the way to this we could even have more e5 but we're you know focusing on void imprints absolutely crazy what money can get you in the game now versus in the old days like it's just crazy what you can actually build it was such a slow grind in the old days so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know what you guys think let me know what you think i should take this account and i'll see you guys next time